richtig. In today's tutorial, I'll be using 10 pictures. Let's start by going to File, selecting Project Settings, choosing the 1 to 1 Instagram Aspect Ratio, and then clicking OK as shown. Now select all the pictures and drag them to the timeline. After that, with all the pictures still selected, click the duration icon above the timeline and change the duration to one second as shown. So I clicked each picture to ensure they are cropped to fit. First, select all the pictures, right-click to copy, add a video track above, then right-click to paste as shown. Next, hide track 2. Next, go to the Effects panel, search for and apply Dispersion Blur to the first picture on track 1. After that, click on the picture, then go up to Effects and increase the blur intensity to 20, as shown. Now, right-click on the first picture to copy the effect. Then select all the other pictures on track one, right-click and paste the effect as shown. Afterward, preview the result. Now unhide track two as shown. Now, go to the effects panel, drag and apply the border effect to the first picture on track two. Afterward, click on the picture, then go up to the effects to adjust the border size to 4 and the blur to 1. Next, click Image Feature above, then scroll up and scale it down to 80. Next, scroll down to select Drop Shadow. Choose Projection, select Black as the color, increase the distance to 12, and set the opacity to 70 as shown. Now, right-click on the first picture and copy the effect. Afterward, select the rest of the pictures on track 2, then right-click and paste the effect as shown. Next, for the first picture on track 2, click and then go up to set the rotation to 3. For the second picture, set it to 1 and the third to negative 1. Continue with negative 3 for the fourth, negative 1 for the fifth, 1 for the sixth, 3 for the 7th, negative 1 for the 8th, 3 for the 9th, and negative 3 for the 10th. This pattern creates a balanced and dynamic look across all the images. Now, on track 2, select all the pictures except the first one, then move them upward. Do the same with the third picture after that, continuing the pattern until you reach the last picture, as shown. Next, scroll down to track two and extend each picture to match the duration below it. Do the same for the third picture in track three and continue this pattern until the last picture as shown. Now, let's apply a transition to the pictures on track one. Go up to the transition panel Search for the Wormhole 3 transition and drag it down to the first picture. Then reduce the duration to 20 seconds. Continue applying the same transition to the rest of the pictures on track 1. Afterward, click on the first transition, go up and apply the same 20 second duration to all transitions as shown. Also, go back to the transition panel, search for the flash zoom out transition then drag it down to apply it to all the pictures from track 2 upwards, as shown. Now, starting from the last picture, reduce each transition to 20 seconds, as shown.
Next, using the first transition on track one as a guide, move the playhead to the beginning of the transition. Then, select all the pictures from track two and move them back as shown. Ensure that the transition above aligns with the transitions below as demonstrated. Now, go to the last picture on track one, right-click to copy it, then move the playhead to the end and right-click to paste as shown. Reduce the duration to match the one above, then go up to the transition panel and apply the wormhole three transition. Afterward, reduce the transition duration to 20 seconds as demonstrated. Further, scroll up, then go up to the effects panel to search for and drag down the Apple effect above. Extend it to match the duration below, then click on it to reduce its opacity to 30 as shown in preview. When you look closely, you will notice that the slide does not align well with the background images. Let's correct that. Move the playhead between two transitions and you will see a picture slide on the screen. Then, go to the media panel and drag down the same picture as you press the Alt key to replace the one on the timeline. Afterward, move the playhead forward again and repeat the process until all the pictures are aligned with the slides as demonstrated. Continue the same process until you are able to align all the pictures. Thanks for watching. The template link for this tutorial is in the description. Also, don't miss out on the best subscription deals and discounts for Filmora Wondershare. Check the link in the description to take advantage of the offer. Have a wonderful day!